I'm Mark Collins from Kramer Electronics. I'm here to talk to you today about the DIP22. The DIP22 is the latest in our range of desk connectivity devices. It allows you to connect up to three inputs, which can be DisplayPort, HDMI or VGA. It then outputs HDBase-T to a compatible receiver. It will also locally de-embed audio and can change the volume of this as well if required. Let's take a quick look at the front of the unit. In terms of inputs on the front of the unit, we have a DisplayPort++, an HDMI, a VGA with audio, and each one of these has a selector switch next to it. We also have a step-in button which gives us extra functionality with some of our other presentation switches. On the back of the unit, starting from the left-hand side, we've got an audio output port. This port can be used to de-embed audio from any of the inputs on the device. We've also got an Ethernet port, and this can be used to access the internal web pages. We've got two serial ports and some contact closure selector ports. We've then got a factory reset button, and we've got four setup dip switches. These can be used to set up the auto switching behavior on the device. Further along, we've got an HD base T output port. Further along, we've got a 48 volt DC input. The DIP22 has a power over Ethernet feature. It can power compatible receivers such as the TP780R. You can also power the DIP22 itself over Ethernet using a compatible presentation switcher such as the VP440H2. The DIP22 includes EDIB management. This means that whatever type of device you plug into it, it should maintain a solid signal on the HDBase-T output. Besides the automatic switching on the DIP22, it also supports Kramer Maestro technology. Maestro allows you to fully automate your meeting room. Based on connecting or disconnecting one cable, you could make a screen turn on and off. You can control lighting, blinds and other devices in a room. So here I have a quick demonstration set up for you. I've got the DIP22, which is powering a TP780R receiver over HDBase-T. The 780R is then going via HDMI into the screen. The DIP22 has got two inputs connected currently. I have a Via Campus, which is connected using DisplayPort. I also have this orange HDMI cable, which I'm going to plug into my laptop now. As I plug this in, the DIP22 detects that my laptop has been connected, and we hear it click, and we see the image appear on the screen. As I disconnect my laptop, the DIP22 detects that again and using its priority switching, it goes back to the VIA campus. If I take the default IP address for the DIP22 and I enter that into a web browser, it will give me this web interface. From here I can do video switching. I can also see which inputs are live by the green dot. I can do audio level control. I can do data routing across HDBase-T. I can also then change certain video and audio settings on the device, including priority switching settings, embedded audio settings, and HDCP settings. I can also set up EDID management on the unit. So it will have a default EDID, but I can learn an EDID from a connected display device and write it onto any one of the inputs or all of the inputs at once. The automation menu is where I can set up the Kramer Maestro settings. From here I can tell the DIP22 which devices it's controlling and how it's controlling those devices. I can also bring up a virtual panel which gives me control over elements of the DIP22 switcher. And that concludes the brief run through of the web interface. For more information on these or any of our other Kramer products, please go to our website. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.